In today's video, we're going to show you how you maximize happiness on your Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, happiness is a really important feature in these games because we have Pokemon like Eevee, like Riolu, and a number of others that rely on this mechanic to evolve. Now, I have just recently caught a shiny Riolu, so I do want to evolve it into a Lucario so I can add it to my team and use it when I'm just roaming around the Paldea region. So the first thing that we want to do is to increase our happiness. There is an item that we want. I'm sure a lot of you will already know about it, but that item is the Soothe Bell. Now, once we're in Mesa Goza, so you can get this very early on in your game, you want to head to Delibird Presents. It is just around the corner here from this Pokemon Center. It will take you two seconds to get to. It's not an expensive item, but whenever you give it to a Pokemon to hold, it doubles the amount of happiness that they receive. So when you're here, you want to come into General Goods and then you want to come down this list and you want to find the Soothe Bell. 5,000 Pogo Dollars, not too much at all. And we'll grab that. And like I say, when you attach this to your Pokemon in your party and it's holding it, it will double any happiness metrics that it receives. Soothe Bell will give it to Riolu. Okay, so Riolu is holding the Soothe Bell, ways in which you can increase happiness. One of the easiest ones is in the Let's Go feature, the Auto Battle feature. Just have your Pokemon walking next to you. Whenever your Pokemon is walking next to you out and around the Paldea region, it will gain happiness. So this is a way to do it. It is quite a slow way to do it, so it's not the fastest, most effective way. But if you like a slow pace in your games and you're not generally in a rush, this is kind of a nice way to do it. A way to increase the happiness of your Pokemon is to set up a picnic and then play with it, wash it, and do all those fun things things with it and you can wash it you can press the air button and give it a nice clean and this will increase its happiness as well but you're gonna have to wash it a bunch of times before you are able to that happiness maxed or to the level that you need for it to evolve but this is definitely another way for you to increase the happiness of your Pokemon again a bit of a slow way but this is definitely one option that you do have Another method is having your Pokemon battle wild Pokemon. This, if you have it at the start of your party and you battle wild Pokemon, make sure that they are a lower level than it because if your Pokemon that you're training in friendship faints, it will decrease the happiness and it will stop it gaining the happiness that you want and slow the whole process down. So these are a, a few ways that you can do it by having it in the front of your party, having it hold the Soothe Bell, have it battle with wild Pokemon. I don't believe that the auto battle feature increases happiness. I could be wrong. If you have found in your games that you've been doing a lot of auto battling with a Pokemon in the front of your party and that has increased the happiness, do let me know down in the comment section and we can update this for everyone's information. But as far as I know, the testing I've done, auto battling has not increased happiness of my Pokemon when I've been using it in the, the Let's Go feature. But probably the quickest method in the entire game for me, and this is probably what a lot of you will rely on, is using the EV reducing berries. Now the EV reducing berries are made up from the Pomeg, the Kelpsy, Qualot, Honju, Grepa, and Tomato Berry. We did a guide on how you can farm these in specific areas in the region. Now, these berries normally reduce EVs, which they do. If you read the description, if a Pokemon is fed this berry, it will grow more friendly, so increasing its happiness, but it will lose base points for its speed stat. So you can utilize these berries to maximize happiness where it's happy enough to evolve if its evolution relies on that and this can be done even if you haven't got any in your party so what you want to do is just come to this area on your map east province area 2 and this pokemon center here and you'll be looking in this area here the area above it here and then this area in the back and all you want to be doing is collecting 20 of these berries it doesn't matter what what kind it is 20 of these berries will be enough with the Soothe Bell to maximize your happiness on your Pokemon. It doesn't matter what Pokemon it is. Some Pokemon are going to need all 20, um, but 20 is a safe number for you to come and collect in this area. It's easy enough to collect 20 of these berries around this area. If you do all three, it's going to take you around five minutes to cover the entire area before you're able to pick up enough berries to be able to give them to your Pokemon and then its happiness will be maxed out. See, we've got four already, so it is not going to be a long process. And like I say, I think this is probably the quickest method in all of the games. 
Okay, so we've done a sweep. What we want to do is just come into our bag and then just start feeding Ariolo the berries that we've picked up. And it can be like a, like I say, it can be a mixture of any of these berries. So we'll give Riolu a pomeg berry. And you can see when the berry is given to the Pokemon, Riolu becomes more friendly and its base points for its HP stack can't go any lower. So you could also combine this with just making sure that it's got a clean slate for when you EV it. So you go through all your berries. We know the attack can't go any lower, the quality can't go any lower. And just keep count of how many berries that you're given. Let's give it them. And that should be enough berries now for it to have like the complete maxed happiness. Now, before you level up a Pokemon that you've maxed out the happiness, so you're pretty sure you've maxed out its happiness. If you want to check this, you can come to Cascarafa City. And from here, you'll be able to find the happiness checker. So in Cascarafla City, you want to just fly into this area and you want to be heading to the water fountain area in the middle of the city. And there will be a lady NPC character, not this one. This lady right here. You're friendly with your Pokemon. So if you speak to her, hi, you know, as you spend time with your Pokemon, they'll grow friendlier towards you. Could I see how friendly you and your Pokemon are? Yes. So which Pokemon can I have a look at? We will choose Riolu from our menu. Okay, let me see just how close you and Riolu are. You're good friends, all right. You definitely enjoy each other's company. So this feels like Riolu's probably ready to evolve. We just come back into our bag. We want to get a, Ooh, which candy do we want to use? We've got no, we've got no rare candies. Okay, let's use a, a large candy on it and let's just give it a level up and see if that is enough to, we don't want to screech just yet. And there we go. You see the berries are enough. The berries are all you need. This was caught fresh i haven't done anything other than what i did in this video like two or three battles the the washing it and letting it run for a little period out when it was like with the let's go feature and then all that we did on top of that was like 20 berries and the 20 berries are what's pushed it to the edge with the sooth bell and it's as easy as that in this game maxing out happiness is not hard just go to that area collect a bunch of berries give them to your pokemon it wipes the slate clean with evs as well which is really good so this lucario now is ready for us just to level up EV train and then put into our party and it, it looks amazing as well. So I hope this has been useful for you friends. If you have found it useful, please drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And thank you so much for tuning in friends. Have a lot of fun maxing out the happiness on your Pokemon, whether you want to take a casual route and do it the slower way with the let's go feature and the washing and all that sort of thing, which you can do, you can enjoy the games, right? But if you're in a rush, you want to get your Pokemon evolved and kind of finish off the Pokedex or do whatever, then you do have this method to rely on with the berries as well that is not going to take long. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, friends. Take care and until next time, bye-bye.